Elections 2019 on Manawatu People's Radio. Te reo irirangi o nga tangata o Manawatu. Next up we have Mel Butler. I've just turned 40 this year and I've never been interested in politics until now. I want clean water, clean rivers, community gardens and fruit trees. I'm a mum of two teenagers and we're all into cars. I drive two fast petrol cars. I'm married to Quinton. I've been living in Palmerston North for 21 years. I was born and bred in Hastings and I admit it was a struggle to call Palmerston North home. The climate was hard to get used to and the struggle was, with crime was, was real. I've had cars stolen, houses ripped off, bikes and gear stolen from my home, but now I'm proud to say Palmerston North is home. We need more crime caught on CCTV cameras. We need to keep Palmerston North safe. I own a small business and love the support of the candidates and they're keen to support local business. Do they? I'm here to ask the tough questions everyone else is afraid to ask. My dad is an excavation contractor and has been for 50 plus years. In my 40 years I've learned a thing or two about roading. Why is the roading being fixed when it does not need to be? For example, Grey Street and Queen Street corners got fixed in, last, in the last week of March 2019. It's already falling apart. It's dangerous for motorcyclists, pedestrians and vehicles. The cheap product being used is unacceptable. Who is responsible for this terrible waste of money? Who paid this bill? Why is it not being repaired properly? Who made the decision for it to be fixed in the first place? There was nothing wrong with the stretch of road, and that's just one example. Has anyone heard a skid outside of their house lately? Seen an increase in skid marks on the street daily? Any of you responsible? We need a place to go. We have four by four parks, kids parks, mountain bike parks, skate parks, dog parks, and none of us for us car enthusiasts to go to. So what are we left with? The streets. Give us somewhere to go. People have been trying to get a skid pad in Palmerston North for over 20 years. Everyone complained about the skate park. Damaging was done um, with ollies and things like that over all the... Yeah, I'm out of time. Thank you guys for listening. <laughs>